Yeah, very unique. As you can see here, this poll shows former President Donald Trump maintaining a dominant double-digit lead in the first in the nation primary as time begins to run out for his Republican challengers. Likely Republican primary voters were surveyed yesterday, the day after the Iowa caucuses. 52% of them back Donald Trump. 38% are with former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Just 6% in New Hampshire are now supporting Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. In the trend line of this poll, Haley has gained some support, but so has Donald Trump. So at least according to this poll, her chances of catching up to Trump are getting more and more remote at this point. Here's why in part. This is a Republican primary, and Trump is winning by 40 points among registered Republican likely voters, 65 to 25 for Haley. Haley's strength right now is among registered undeclared or independent voters here in New Hampshire. This group of Granite Staters that can sway the outcome of these presidential primaries is going 52% for Haley, 37% for Trump, and just 4% for DeSantis. But when it comes to these strong headline numbers for Trump, pollsters say he is definitely getting a bit of a bounce from his landslide victory in Iowa. Well, the impact is, is that he's up seven points in the last few days. And part of that is the fact that he won and he gets earned media from that, but also the fact that he had a unifying message. And the statement Trump made with that victory in Iowa, the exit of Vivek Ramaswamy from the race, clearly giving the former president a boost here in New Hampshire. The question, based off of this poll, is how much more, if at all, Nikki Haley can narrow the gap between now and next Tuesday. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.